I wanted to get my diver certification and see the underwater world. But it's not easy. I had to study dive tables, human physiology, and learn about equipment. I had to pay attention so I wouldn't get lost. Before the first dive, I was a little scared. A back roll can be a little unnerving, but it's the best way off the boat. Once in the water, the diver gets her bearings. Before descending, she starts to equalize her ears. There's no shortage of fish, and she's surrounded by a school of jacks. In the shallows, under the boat, there are many tropical fish. Some have long trailing fins, like this lone cornet fish with its whip-like tail. Or this beautiful Moorish idol. This scribbled filefish appears to have been flattened by a steamroller. Now here's something you don't see every day. This scribbled puffer is getting a cleaning by a janitor fish. Wait, what's that? Right into his mouth? Whoa! Let's try that again. Whoops, out again. Wait, one more time? There must be something really tasty in there. Oh, that's enough cleaning for today. Balakasag Island is the home to hundreds, if not thousands, of Nemo fish, also known as clownfish or anemone fish. They live in symbiosis with their respective sea anemones. Clownfish are protected by the sea anemone's stinging tentacles, and in return, the clownfish shares its food with the anemone. Here, a pair of skunk clownfish vigorously defend their sea anemone. This gorgeous nudibranch is commonly found in the warm waters of the Philippines. Does anyone live here? Ah, a mantis shrimp. Here's another symbiotic relationship. This burgundy shrimp goby, perched on the left, allows a nearly blind bulldozer shrimp to dig out his burrow. If there's any danger, the fish will warn the shrimp and they will both hide inside the burrow. Garden eels retreat into their holes at the first sign of danger. But if you're patient, you can get a good look at their behavior. They wait for the current to bring zooplankton their way, then expertly snap it up in their eager mouths. Alakasag Island, there are turtles, turtles, and more turtles, including the green and endangered hawksbill. But one must respect the turtles and resist the impulse to touch. It's best just to watch the turtles and the fish. Divers are always on the alert for buried treasure. And now it's the big test. Just thinking about the dive tables has made the eyes of this leaf scorpion fish roll around in its head. I learned my skills. <laughs>